Okay, let's summarize that really quick. So remember our trends are going across a period or down a family. Across a period is caused by the columbic effect, or in other words, the pull of the protons in the nucleus. So as we go across, we are increasing the nuclear charge. So we're increasing the number of protons in the nucleus. Those positive protons in the nucleus pull on the negative electrons. When they pull on the negative electrons, that means that as you go across a row, you are increasing electronegativity, which is how good does this element pull on other people's protons, uh, nucleon, other people's electrons in a bond. Also increasing ionization energy, meaning how much energy do you have to spend to pull a valence electron away from an element? Also decreasing atomic radius. So the protons pull the electrons closer, therefore the size of an atom decreases also decreasing metallic character. So that's the trends we got going on over here in our most reactive nonmetal is fluorine. Now let's go down the family this is caused by the shielding effect. So as we go down, we're increasing the principal energy level or the number of full electron shells. So the number next to here, this one, two, three, all the way down to seven is called my N number. And that's the number of electron shells. As we increase the, number of, increase the number of electron shells, it is increased shielding. So those full electron shells shield the valence electrons from the pull of the protons in the nucleus. This causes decreasing electronegativity, decreasing ionization energy, meaning that um, the shielded nucleus can't pull on its own valence electrons or other people's valence electrons as well. It also is increasing radius because you can't pull, the protons are shielded so they can't pull on those valence electrons and hold them close. So increasing atomic radius and increasing metallic character. So down here is francium. He is the most reactive metal. So the most reactive non-metal is fluorine. That means he is the smallest, most electronegative, highest ionization energy, and the least metallic character. Francium is the most reactive metal. He has the lowest electronegativity, lowest ionization energy, biggest radius, and the most metallic character. So you can go through and compare two things. Let's compare carbon and oxygen. You might be asked, which one is more reactive? Well, it's oxygen because it's closer to fluorine. The closer you are to fluorine, the more reactive you are. Which one is the smallest? Well, oxygen is smaller than carbon because it's closer to fluorine. And I, when I say because, I don't mean that's the reason why. I mean that's how I can tell. Oxygen is more reactive than carbon because it is smaller. It is more electronegative. It has a high ionization energy. Francium is 
the most reactive. So the closer you are to francium, the more reactive you're going to be. So let's just, we can compare two different things here too. So I can look at the periodic table of the elements and compare potassium to cesium. If they said which one is larger, you would say cesium is larger. Not because it's lower down on the periodic table of the elements, but that's how I can tell. It is more reactive of a metal because it is larger. It has a lower ionization energy and a lower electronegativity. So there's a summary of what we've learned.